Okay, so Rashmita has asked a nice question. She has sent me that if the PCO2 of a patient is 26 and bicarb are 16, but the pH is normal, it is 7.43. So how do we identify with which disorder we are dealing, whether it's metabolic acidosis or respiratory acidosis or metabolic alkalosis or respiratory alkalosis? So understand that when we are dealing with basics of ABG, so we consider pH as normal between 7.35 to 7.45. So if the pH is less than 7.35, we call it acidosis. And the pH is 7.45 and above, then we call it as an alkalosis. But when you learn the advanced ABGs, you need to take a cutoff of 7.4. So anything between below 7.4 is towards acidosis, and anything above 7.4 is towards alkalosis. So here the pH is 7.43. So basically it's normal, but it is it is towards alkalosis. So primary disorder is alkalotic. So the bicarbonate are 16. So it means metabolic acidosis there. It cannot be primary disorder. But PCO2 is 26. That means it is respiratory alkalosis. It is towards alkalosis because low PCO2 is called will cause alkalosis. So pH 7.43 towards alkalosis and PCO2 is 26. It is also towards alkalosis. So primary disorder is respiratory alkalosis. Now, the bicarbonate may be compensating uh, the uh, respiratory alkalosis or it is an additional disorder. We need to solve the ABG and adjust. Why I am telling this? Because compensation cannot overshoot the original disorder or pH. Means if it is a primary metabolic acidosis, suppose the bicarbs were 16, it is it was a metabolic acidosis. The respiratory component cannot overshoot and make it an alkalosis. So bicarb, uh, if, if, if we consider bicarb as 16 as a primary disorder of metabolic acidosis, no matter how much PCO2 varies, it cannot overshoot the metabolic acidosis part. So pH cannot be more than 7.43. So understand that primary disorder always exceeds. Respiratory compensation cannot overshoot the compensation. So here the pH is 7.43, slightly above 7.4, uh, 7 so it's towards alkalosis. PCO2 is low, which is also causing respiratory alkalosis. So primary it is respiratory alkalosis and associate with it either it's a compensation or there is a primary metabolic also acidosis also in this patient. Hope this clarifies and makes some sense. Do read more about it.